Hello guys, in this video, we'll solve one problem based on Gauss elimination method. So this is a method for solving system of equation. You can see the system of equation 3, equations are given. Okay, so three variables are involved, x, y and z. And the constants are on the right hand side. Now, in order to form, first step is that you have to form the augmented matrix. It is nothing but A is to B. Okay. So this is nothing but it gives the if suppose if I want to write the augmented matrix it is nothing but the we have to write the coefficients of each variable okay so if I take row wise this equation so what is the coefficient of x it is 1 then minus 2 coefficient of y first equation then 3 then what is the b matrix it forms the constant which is which is kept on the right hand side okay all the constant terms so this forms the first equation now second equation it is 3 minus 1 4 and 4 then 2 plus 1 here minus 2 then 5 so we have written the augmented matrix okay so you can see here so this is the first step and next step you have to understand here that this matrix i have to convert this 3 cross 3 you observe okay only this part you observe this i have to convert it into upper triangular matrix now what is upper triangular matrix so let us try to understand that first now here i have taken one matrix three cross three okay three rows three columns here this is a matrix with uh, some elements okay i have taken random elements now here in order to convert this matrix into upper triangular matrix diagonal elements below that diagonal elements all the elements should be zero observe this this is the diagonal element uh, diagonal okay so this part is the diagonal below which all the elements should be zero so i need to make here four seven and eight as zero so this is the main motive okay so in upper triangular matrix diagonal below which it should be all the elements should be zero so here also same thing this three cross three if you observe only till this part so you can observe that here i should make three two and 1 as 0 okay in order to convert it into upper triangular matrix and why we have to convert the main thing is that why we have to convert that we'll see later okay so first thing we'll convert this one into upper triangular matrix now how to convert we can perform row uh, transformation okay row operations so first we'll start i'll make 3 as 0 okay we'll go like, like this okay 3 then 2 then 1 so in order to make 3 as 0 we can use this term this is 1 right so I can apply the operation R2 is R2 minus 3 R1, correct? 3 times this one. So R2 element will become 0, okay? Is easy, 3 into 3 times of this one. So I will do the calculation part here. Now only I have to change the second row, okay? So second row we have to change, the rest all remains the same. Second row means also you remember that this also we have to change. Okay, remember this. Now here second row it is three minus three minus r two minus three r one three minus three into one three into one which is equal to three minus three it is zero. Okay, so this element becomes zero. Next year, minus one minus three into minus two. So this becomes minus one plus six. Right minus 1 plus 6 is 5 so this element becomes 5 next two. 4 4 minus 3 r1 4 minus 3 into r1 is 3 so this becomes 4 minus 9 which is equal to minus 5 okay so this becomes minus 5 next two. 4 minus 4 minus 3 r1 so 3 into it is equal to 4 minus 6 which is equal to minus 2 okay so all the elements we got 0 5 minus 5 and minus 2 here it will change now this becomes 0 5 minus 5 and minus 2 okay rest all remains the same same thing now next Next, I have made this as 0. Now, I will take this one. So, in order to make uh, 
uh, 2 as 0 I can use with this one right so R3 so I have to change R3 so R3 becomes R3 minus 2 R1 simple 2 into 1 it is 2 so 2 minus 2 it is 0 okay so I will apply this row operation so let us see the calculation part first so here again the same thing 2 minus 2 minus 2 into R1 is 1 so 2 minus 2 is 0 next 1 minus 1 minus 2 into R1 is minus 2 so this becomes 1 plus 4 it is equal to 5 next 2 minus 2 minus 2 minus 2 into R1 is 3 so it is minus 2 minus 6 it is minus 8 okay next 2 this one also I have to change 5 so 5 minus 2 into R1 is 2 so it is equal to 5 minus 4 it is 1 so I have got all the elements 5 a uh, 0 5 minus 8 and 1 okay so I have to change this one so this becomes augmented matrix equal to now uh, I will not change R1 so it remains as it is R2 also I cannot change so R3 I will change this becomes 0 5 minus 8 and 1 now here next thing is that I have to make 5 as 0 the last one 5 as 0 so the process will be completed in order to make 5 as 0 simple what I can do here also 5 is there right so this minus this correct so also one more thing you have to remember that you should not make this again as some other value see when you apply again for R3 row operation observe that this should not change 0 it, it should remain as 0 itself okay so I'll apply R3 is R3 minus R2 correct 5 minus 5 is 0 so augmented matrix becomes row 1 remains the same 1 minus 2 3 and 2 then R2 remains same oh, and minus 2 so R3 changes 0 minus 0 0 5 minus 5 it is 0 minus 8 minus of minus 5 correct so it becomes uh, minus 8 plus 5 it is minus 3 1 minus of minus 2 it is 3 correct 1 plus 2 is 3 so we got this one so you have to do carefully the calculation part okay so we have got you can observe here this is the diagonal element okay you have to take 3 cross 3 okay don't consider this one 3 cross 3 if you see below that all the elements should be 0 so I have made it as 0 okay while doing row operation also remember that you have, you have to apply for this also row operation okay now next part is that so why we have done upper triangular matrix simple thing so what does this mean this column it is nothing but x this one it is y this one it is z and this one is the constant part right hand side whatever is there so if you observe carefully from the question also you can see 1 3 2 1 3 2 what is that x coefficients right that's why i have written x minus 2 minus 1 plus 1 what is that it is y coefficient and this is z coefficient and this one is a constant part so x y z so if we come back to this again by making this matrix as upper triangular matrix it is easy for me to calculate x y z values you can observe here this thing is 0 this thing if i write if i want to write equation for this 0 0 then minus 3 minus 3 x so minus 3 a, uh, sorry not x z minus 3 z is equal to whatever coefficient or constant term is there on the right hand side it is 3 observe carefully minus 3 z equal to 3 so from this i can get the value of z what is z value it is minus 1 simple i got z value okay next in second row if i want to write the equation so this is 0 x no need to write 5 y 5 y again minus 5 z equal to what constant term it is minus 2 so in this i know z value what is z value minus 1 just substitute over here so 5y minus 5 into minus 1 equal to minus 2 so 5y plus 5 equal to minus 2 5y equal to minus 2 minus 5 correct so this becomes minus 7 so y value becomes minus 7 by 5 so i got y value also now the last one 
is the z value first row i'll write this is 1x so x minus 2y plus 3z equal to what the constant term it is 2 so we have y value we have z value we can find out the x value correct so here x minus 2 into y value we got it as 7 by 5 minus minus 7 right minus 7 by 5 plus 3 into z value is minus 1 which is equal to 2 so this one becomes x minus sorry plus minus minus plus 14 by 5 minus 3 equal to 2 so this all things i can take it that side so x equal to 2 minus uh, sorry 2 plus 3 minus 14 by 5 correct what is 2 plus 3 it is 5 so x value equal to 5 minus 14 by 5 which is equal to 5 5 is a 25 25 minus 14 by 5 what is 25 minus 14 it is 11 11 by 5 will be the value of x so we got values of x which is equal to 11 by 5 y value is minus 7 by 5 and z value is equal to minus 1 so all the values we have got that's why we converted into upper triangular matrix so it is easy for me to write the equations okay